Good morning, this is meteorologist Kaylee Dion with a look at your forecast for Hurricane Ida as of 7 o'clock in the morning on Sunday Central Time here at WFA Studios. We are watching a very uh, powerful hurricane approach the southeastern Louisiana coast. Here's a look at the updated watches and warnings that are ongoing right now. Hurricane warning stretching not only for this the coast of southeastern Louisiana, but all the way up to the Louisiana and Mississippi state line and tropical storm warning stretch all the way up into central, even close to northern Mississippi right now and stretch as far east as the Alabama uh, Mobile area. So if we look at the radar at this point, this is this morning at about seven o'clock in the morning and you can see the storm, a very well defined eye with a very strong eye wall uh, uh, circling the entire storm there. You can see it's going, it's really close. It's going to make landfall earlier than this afternoon. It's going to make landfall in the next few hours along the southeastern Louisiana coast. The Conditions have already been uh, deteriorating across uh, not only uh, southeastern Louisiana, but over toward Mississippi and Alabama and the Florida Panhandle with those outer bands where there could be heavy rainfall, even tornadoes that spin up with that. Uh, but storm surge has already started in many of these locations, and also the worst is to come when that eye wall goes on shore. So widen it back out. Let's get the latest update at 7 o'clock from the National Hurricane Center. This is a very strong Category 4 storm. Category four winds go up to 156 miles per hour. We're at 150 right now, and the storm is still strengthening upon landfall. Moving to the northwest at about 15 miles per hour, and it's going to continue to move to the northwest quickly. So that's why we expect it to make landfall uh, late this morning, uh, right, right around the lunch hour. I do think that it'll be inland by the time we get to uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. But look at those winds <sighs> upon landfall, 155 mile per hour winds. This is going to be a storm that we talk about for a very, very long time. Uh, thoughts and prayers are with the people that decided to stay in south southeastern Louisiana. But the thing is, once the storm makes landfall and it moves inland, it will rapidly weaken. So it'll be a category one storm by late tonight. Then it will be a tropical depression by the time we get into the day on Tuesday. But it's still going to cause major problems all the way up into the mid Atlantic. Uh, these areas here, uh, which we'll look at in just a second, have had a lot of rainfall. So it's going to be uh, uh, more rain on top of a very saturated environment. If we look at our time cast here, you can see I've stopped it at seven o'clock tonight. It's already uh, on shore here and it's going to continue to basically ride the Mississippi River all the way up, still packing quite a punch into central Mississippi and then eventually turning to the north and east, moving right over the top of the Nashville area, which we've talked about quite a bit in the news with a lot of flooding in the recent weeks. And so this is going to drop large amounts of rainfall throughout the day on Tuesday for those locations. Look at these rainfall totals. I mean, we're talking 10 to 15, even more uh, inches of rainfall along the southeastern Louisiana coast all the way over toward Biloxi, Mississippi. Five to 10 inches stretch all the way up into northern Mississippi and northwest Alabama. You can see the sharp cutoff as the storm starts to turn to the northeast. The rainfall totals go down quite a bit once you get into central Louisiana. So it does take more of that northeasterly track, which will keep some of that uh, heavier rainfall away. We won't see anything here in north Texas, but the locations that will unfortunately see that rain are very saturated already. What does that mean when we say that? That just means there's been a lot of rain. The soil so saturated that any wind from the storm, which we'll look at in just a second, could blow down trees easier power lines easier because the hard ground isn't holding it in there. So if we look here, let's look at those winds that we're expecting. This storm is moves on, on land uh, along the coast is going to be 155 miles per hour all the way up to Baton Rouge and north of Baton Rouge, 130 mile per hour winds are even more possible in those locations in the red. 94 to 130 the farther north you go and then 75 tropical storm force winds all the way up into northern Mississippi. So these spots that are very saturated are going to be able to blow over some of those trees and power lines. So power will be out for weeks in some of these locations. Let's go over this, the, uh, the scale and what we're looking at categories as this storm I mean, it ramped up so quickly uh, from a category one to a category strong category four. So winds extensive damage was just a category two, which winds go up to 110 miles per hour. Let's talk category three as I walk over here. Those winds are going to be up to about 129 miles per hour, which that category three strength will go all the way up past Baton Rouge and into some parts of central Mississippi. Category four extreme winds. This could cause catastrophic damage. The range you can see goes from 130 to 156. This storm right now 
still intensifying is at 150 mile per hour winds. What that means is th those winds are pushing those waves on shore, as well as the motion of the storm itself, pushing water to a stationary object, which is the land. So that's where you see those that really large storm surge, and that's what's gonna cause most of the initial damage in southeastern portions of Louisiana, along with the wind and the rain. But here's a look at the updated storm surge. The spots in pink could see 10 to 16 feet of storm surge. It's already started. It's, uh, it's already starting in spots uh, in southeastern Louisiana. You can see in the red here that goes up toward New Orleans and toward the mouth of the Mississippi, 7 to 12 feet storm surge. And you can see 6 to 9 feet of storm surge all the way out toward Pecan Island, uh, Louisiana. So I'm going to step out. This is the latest update from the National Hurricane Center as of 7 o'clock. Again, a very dangerous Category 4 storm with winds of 150 mile per hour. But look at the gusts. 185 miles per hour moving to the northwest at 15 though that pressure is down to 933 millibars and it's still falling so it's going to continue to intensify upon landfall unlike some storms that start to weaken before landfall this storm is not that and we are going to continue to watch this for you we'll have updates on wfaa.com throughout the morning hours also you can join us uh, on weekend daybreak for the updates live as we start the show at about eight o'clock in the morning we'll have updates uh, again this is wfaa meteorologist just Kaylee Dion with an update on Hurricane Ida.